Hi, this is Connor from Intrinsic Dev, and today I'm just going to be showing you about our new NetFuel Trestron driver. So, after downloading from the site, you should get a folder just like this. If you open up the Simple Windows demo program, just make sure to change the processor to whatever you're using. For setup, we just need IP address, username and passwords, and that's just for the login for the NetFuel matrix. Select debug level if you need any debugging. Other than that, we just have checking the driver's license if we're connected to the device, you in each output, we've also got volume control as well, and both of them have feedback. So these are for out in the audio, so between the HDMI ports and then the SPDIF, like stereo slots. Um, both of them have string feedback, which shows what sources are being routed to the outputs. You can also do global, which will do audio and video at the same time. There's our volume set, volume feedback, and for setting any IR commands through the box or RS232 commands. That's that for sample windows. Just compile and send to the process now. A few moments later. Yep, driver license connected. After I should just go through and get the statuses of everything. More moments later. There we go. Just updated all the feedback for us. So from here, if we just want to test, um, route some of the audio signals. Get the web interface. We can just show. It's actually changing it on the box. To audio. These, it does start from the index, so it starts from zero um, for the first output and then goes up to 31. Um, so just make sure to check that it's in the integration note, um, just as a reference visual feed up. Um, so if you just send that. Yeah, we can see that update. Yeah, and that did go to that. And now you can see your input 1, that's 0. Um, then just here for the options for audio. Um, just the volumes at 10. Okay, so we can see here, if we set this to 15 now, updates. And if we set the mute as well, just to test. And that's up muted. Unmuted. There we go. Now I think that should be us for the driver. Um, there's not much other than the route and just the volume control here. We did implement the RS232 and the IR pass through if you do need that. Just one more thing to mention if you're not able to get control of it, just make sure this permission to access plain text API is checked as in the implementation note as well, but just to make sure. Alright, that would do this for today. Thanks, see you.